I recently bought a Samsung Galaxy A52 5G online and during the first few days of using it, I didn't get any 5G signal. I thought that the 5G signal in our area was just weak, but when I went to our office in Makati, I still didn't get any 5G signal. I inserted the same SIM card on my POCO F3 and it had no problem getting 5G. Initially, I thought that I got a defective phone but with a little bit of research, I finally got 5G working on my phone and in this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to activate 5G for Samsung Snapdragon phones bought outside the Philippines. Thanks to the contributors on XDA, I was able to figure out how to activate 5G on my Samsung A52 5G. The thread was originally intended for Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G phones with the Snapdragon chip and would either have a China, Taiwan, or Hong Kong ROM. The contributors had the same problem as me and upon checking the details of my phone, I confirmed that I have a Taiwan ROM. This is based on the BRI found on the service provider software version. For some reason, 5G is blocked on these softwares if used outside their intended location. So now to activate 5G, the first step is to download Google's phone dialer since the codes won't work on Samsung's native dialer. Once installed, you should dial this number. The service mode screen would come up and would show only one option, the RF test. To show the other options, what you do is press the RF test and then press press mode set then click the three buttons on the top right hand corner and then click back. This would now bring you back to the first screen but will now show other options aside from the RF test. Next step is to select UE settings and info, then settings, protocol, NR5G, then NR5G prune status. Then what you do is remove NR5G prune. This should now activate the 5G bands of the phone. Next step now is to activate 5G by removing the 5G network whitelisting. So what we do is we go back to the main service menu, choose UE settings and info, then settings, protocol, GCF, then remove only NR whitelisting. And that's it. You should now have 5G connections as long as 5G is available in your location. So with that, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, The Misadventures of Ronnie G. Thank you for watching and stay safe.